Hey, YouTubers, just grabbing some more scrap wood for another project. See you inside. All right, just got back from the scrap wood bin, and I've got some boards here that I think I might be able to do something with. So I'm going to go through them. Still a little dirty with bird poop. Yeah, I should be able to do something with this. So what I've got going in my head is maybe a photo holder of some sort, and we're going to put them together. So before I put everything together, I'm going to brush down the wood. Obviously, I still got some bird poop on it and everything else on the outside. I'm not using sandpaper because I really don't want to lose this uh, burn yard effect, this old age drain technique. So that's why I'm just using a stiff brush. So I've turned the boards over about two inches from the top. Now I'll be gluing them together and bracing it and putting some strapping across uh, the back. That'll help keep it from uh, twisting left or right. But I got another technique I'm gonna try out and it's using the plunger. Now with these boards, if you torque it down too tight, you're gonna end up popping these boards up and bending them. If you put it on too loose, the glue isn't gonna have a chance to perhaps adhere to each side. These sides aren't plain, so they're not perfectly smooth, so they not, may not marry up uh, very tight, like will some will. So I'm going to create this technique. So I tore the plunger, because I wanted the doweling. To go out and buy doweling is expensive. I just got this from the dollar store. I'm going to match it up with the diameter of one of my bits. It would be pretty good. And then I'm going to drill the holes in the boards here. And I'm going to drop in little biscuits or little cookies. Maybe I'll call them little cookies. And we'll put some little cookies in here, which will help hold everything together that much better. I know my board is uh, three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm going to want to maybe make a quarter inch in depth uh, for the dowel. So I'm just going to pre-measure these out. Hopefully they won't fall down inside the the uh, saw that's my plan So normally you would tape off the depth of your drill bit that you're going to be going in, but because of this style of drill bit, it's not very effective. Or you can use a Sharpie and make a mark on the drill bit if you don't mind. Don't do it if it's your buddies or it's a rental. And you'll see the line spinning around in circles. That's going to tell me how deep I can go with my drilling. Do a quick measurement. I want to keep things on the even. So I'm thinking about a two inches up. Make a little mark. Inches down. Then I'm thinking somewhere's in the middle. So now we're just going to apply some glue. This is the back side. So if any squirts out, that's okay. You can use this technique when putting picture frames together, the old barn wood, which isn't really gonna to stick together well with glue. Use these little cookies to help hold everything together. So now our cookies are well dried in place, holding everything together. Now I'm gonna cover the cookies with some more strapping and that'll give additional strength. And somewhere's also to keep everything from sitting against the wall. And I'll be able to put my picture frame hook on here as well. Now we're just taking off the braces. So now I'm gonna put a coat of polyurethane on the, my project here. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm just gonna put it on. It'll help protect the wood and protect uh, the pictures that are gonna be next to the wood. So we'll do that now. So now I'm going to apply an alligator uh, clip on the back of the frame to hang our picture. So 
So now we're going to mount our clips to our boards. Okay, now all we have to do is add some photos. Hey YouTubers, had a quick little project here and it was a lot of fun to do. Finally get some of these photos out of that box and up on the wall. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Give us a big thumbs up if you liked what you saw. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.